Hello, forever friends and family. I would like to welcome everybody to webinar pre-closing for network marketing. Yes, decisions before the presentation of the book written by Keith and Tom, Big Alsh writer. And today is a webinar, final webinar number six. We are going to finish this book today. Outstanding book for multi-level marketing business. Today is September 13, 2021, 9 p.m. It's hard to believe that we are in the middle of September. We just start this year. And we, we do have a webinars every Monday. We just skip a couple of Mondays for the very serious reasons to skip it. So I would like to invite and ask to start to read my friend and partner, supervisor from Brooklyn, Isaac Gilbinovich. Isaac, please go ahead. Okay. Good evening, everybody. More magic words to disarm negative prospects. Sometimes we need good words to salvage an uncomfortable situation. Imagine our worst nightmare. We sit down with our know-it-all pompous neighbor. We want to talk to our neighbor about our business. Our neighbor leans back in his chair and says, okay, give me your best sale pitch. Ouch. This is an ugly start. A skeptical, negative, unsmiling neighbor. Where do we start? Do we show him a 20 minute company video, pull out a PowerPoint presentation? Doing uh, this will only invite sarcasm and criticism from our pompous neighbor. We need a set of words to neutralize our neighbor's terrible attitude. Our neighbor expects a sale presentation. His resistance meter is overloaded. If we don't have some magic words, we are dead. No problem for us. We know how to pre-close. We can turn off the salesman alarm and skepticism of almost anyone with this statement. Before I show you how this works, let me tell you what happens to me. What happened to me? When we say this statement, what happens is our neighbor minds. This word tell our neighbors that the sales presentation is not going to happen until later. Immediately, our neighbor sets aside his salesman alarm, his skepticism, his too good to be true filter, and his negative programs. Guess what our neighbors thinks when we say, let me tell you what happened to me. <clears throat> Inside our neighbor's mind, a little boy says, story? You are going to tell me a story? I like stories. Please tell me a story. Everyone loves stories. We have internal programs that command us to listen to stories. Think about this situation. We are at work. We walk by three of our coworkers. One of coworkers is telling a story. What does our subconscious mind command us to do? Stop and listen to the story. We have a little program in our mind that says, if anybody anywhere at any time is telling a story, we have to stop and listen to the story all the way to the end. We cannot go on in life until we know how the story ends. Our negative neighbor is now concentrating on the story and is not concentrating on making our life miserable. Stories are in irresistible to the human mind. That is why we like Hollywood movies, books, and gossip. Small children, from the moment they can cons construct a sentence, say, mommy, daddy, please tell me story. Our negative neighbor has no defense. His mind focuses on the story. He forgets his negative feelings toward us in our sales presentation. <clears throat> what can we put in our story? Number one, we can tell the story of how we were skeptical, but our exp experience proved this was a great business. 
Number two, we can tell the story of how we had a great experience with our product. Number three, we can tell the story of how our life was before our business and how life is now. Number four, we can tell a story that someone else told us about their success in our business. What happens inside our neighbor's brain when we tell the stories? His thoughts are swerved, swept up into our story. He sees himself in the stories. Our stories could be enough to get a yes decision from our neighbor immediately. Want an example? Our neighbor says, okay, what is this all about? We answer, before I show you how this works, let me tell you what happened to me. Our neighbor says, what happened? We answer, well, you know, John, he never saved anything for retirement. I did not want to be like him. When I saw this part-time business, I got excited. This business could give me a huge part-time income for the rest of my life. I wouldn't have to worry about a company pension programs or government retirement benefits. All I would have to do is get this business started correctly. Then I could collect money every month for the rest of my life. That is why I was so excited to share this with you. But anyway, let me show you how this business works. We just delivered our business biggest benefit past our neighbor's negative programs directly into his mind. That was so easy. And the best part is we disabled all of his negative defenses. All this happened even before we started our presentation. Get our prospects to focus on solving their problems. The purpose of business is to solve people's problems. But what if people are not thinking about their problems? Then we have to get them to focus. When their problems are at the front of their mind, they want to solve these problems. How do we get them to focus? Easy. Just start with these words. Isaac, I'm so sorry for interruption. How do we get them to refocus, not just focus, refocus? I'm sorry. How do, how do we get because them say, to... Because I'm sorry again. It's really crucial. We have to get them re, to refocus. That's a whole point. Please read it from this again, slowly but surely, please. <clears throat> but what if people are not thinking about their problems? Then we have to get them to refocus. When their problems are at the front of their mind, they want to solve these problems. How do we get them to refocus? Easy. Just start with these words. Think about your current situation. I'm holding this page again for a reason, because it's really crucial for us to speak to our prospects slowly and explain them the situation because they didn't think they they have a problem they did not see the potential about our business and they did not realize that they are in some kind of trouble that's why this how do we get them to refocus it's really crucial really valuable to understand and help them to explore the opportunity that's why easy just start this word think about your current situation please go ahead isaac for example <clears throat> think about your current situation every month you get a paycheck after paying the mortgage the car payments the credit cards the taxes the insurance the food and more how much do you get for giving up a month of your life working for someone else? Now, what are your prospects thinking? Of course, they want to solve that problem. They want a solution now. We don't have to sell them a solution which, with facts, videos, and statistics. All they, was, all they want is to fix their problem. 
this their problem and we are there with the solution what other openings could we use think about your current situation every morning the alarm rings think about your current situation every time that electric bill comes in the mail think about your current situation every morning when you step on the scale think about your current situation every time commuting traffic backs up then finish the story our prospects will see a movie in their minds of this terrible situation when prospects want to fix their problems they will eagerly look for solutions even before we start our presentation isaac thanks a lot take a break please thank you for your reading and i would like to ask friend and partner from brooklyn new york helen osipo manager to continue to read isaac thanks a lot sure good evening everybody uh most people love how this precloses prospects in the book, How to Get Instant Trust, Belief, Influence, and Rapport, 13 Ways to Create Open Minds by Talking to the Subconscious Mind, there is an important phrase. The phrase is, most people. This phrase is very effective for our pre-closing efforts. When we say most people, what happens in our prospects' heads? Their automatic programs activate. Their programs say that they want to be part of most people. Why? Because they want to survive. Early humans learned that if they were a loner, their chances of survival were lower. That is why we will naturally to go to a crowded restaurant instead of an empty restaurant. If we discover a brand new berry, we want someone else to eat the berry first. We don't want to walk through a dark alley late at night by ourselves. We want to walk with a group. Survival, for us, that means staying with the group, being safe, letting other people go first and avoiding risks. When we meet prospects, the programs in their minds are also saying, survive, avoid risk, be safe, stay with the group when we say the words most people their minds run a script that goes something like this most people am i a part of most people or i am a part of fewer people not many people are in a fewer people group so i must be in the most people group so if i am a part of most people i think like most people i do things like most people I am a most people type of person. Feel how quickly the decisions happen in our minds when we say things like, most people like the blue model instead of the red. Most people who get the moisturizer also get the cleanser. Most people feel safer when they have two paychecks a month. Most people want more money. Most people are tired of wasting time commuting to work. We can feel the instant yes decisions in our minds when we hear phrases such as this. So in the beginning of our conversations with our prospects, we can insert a most people phrase to help pre-close our prospects. Want an example? Most people I show this business to get excited about it and want to join. Oh, that was easy. What are our prospects thinking? They think, I am part of most people. I am sure I will be excited about this business and will want to join. This entire sentence is under the radar before the presentation. This sentence opens up our prospects' minds so that they will look for a reason to join instead of reasons not to join. Pre-closing. It is easy if we say the right words. In some cases, pre-closing opens up our prospects' minds. In other cases, our pre-closing helps prospects make their final decision before we even start our presentation. 
pre-closing works. Of all the pre-closing techniques in this book, have you found that will work for you? We don't have the, to use every technique, but we need to use at least one technique. The most techniques we master, the more options we have when talking to our prospects. So instead of worrying about high pressure closing, rejection, and begging prospects for decisions, we will use pre-closing techniques to get immediate decisions in our favor. Remember, all the techniques in this book work better when we use them. Choose a technique now, then enjoy the results. Thank you. Thank you for purchasing and reading this book. Well done. Well done, mm -hmm. Helen. Thank you very much for your reading. It's a final chapter, and I would like to ask the most reliable manager and friend from New Jersey, uh, New Jersey, Iris Cristobal, to continue. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for purchasing and reading this book on some of your pre-closing techniques used in network marketing. I hope you found some ideas that will work for you. Before you go, would it be okay if I ask a small favor? Would you just take one minute and leave a sentence or two reviewing this book online? Your review can help others choose what they will read next. It will be greatly appreciated by many fellow readers. Big Owl Resources. That's it. Thank you, Iris. I don't think we have to read this all stuff. Everybody know this, his, uh, his website. And today we received, I believe you received two uh, recording webinar with his son, Kiss Schreiter. I received it. I didn't have a chance today to watch recording, but it's available now. And we finish this wonderful, wonderful book. And I would like to say to thank you, first of all, everybody then second of all or first of all doesn't matter all readers iris helen and isaac i am glad that i am with you guys in this journey to read study and implement and i encourage everybody to speak up unmute the microphone raise your hand and i will tell you who will be the next one if we would like to discuss something about this wonderful wonderful and helpful book who will be the first one? I can start, Alex. Please go ahead. I think um, each part of this book is very valuable. From the start, I actually like uh, took all like the, the conversation starters, like um, the pre-closing. So I, I just put it in, in my note so that I would have like an idea and I, that it would um, give me some something that I have holding on when I'm ready for talking to anybody or to making like a Facebook post. So it's a, a lot of things that we can look at, but I organized it in one of my notes. So I could just keep on looking, looking and um, memorizing so that um, it's ready when it's needed. Thank you. Thank you, Iris. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Helen, please go ahead. Uh, hello again, everybody. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Bigal always says, when you talk with people, uh, talk with pictures. Like when we uh, say some words and, and it creates pictures in uh, listeners' uh, minds, it means that they got our idea. That's why when we read this book, it creates pictures like movie. And when we create the like it goes to our mind and we create the phrase which will we could use we will be authentic like we because uh one thought falls for us and we could use it and uh when and people feel that we are authentic authentic right and uh they they will be more open to us because when we read this book uh it opens up the like a little bit new world for us like pre-closing world uh, world and we could 
uh, uh, like well, whatever Iris said, like we will write uh, phrases which we could use because I do the same thing when I um, try to uh, prepare myself before I talk to, to the person. And uh, when we use it, our mind will remember that technique and we uh, become like multitasking. And uh, it, uh, it opens up a lot for uh, like uh, the world of uh, we, where we could meet new people. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, Helen. Uh, one valuable example, Isaac, you will be next. Uh, one valuable example about picture, for example, again, uh, if you have your prospect or your business partner who has a kids up to 12, or even 13 years, ask them, did you ever travel to Disney World? And most people never travel to Disney World because it's required some kind of expenses. Depends what kind of family, how many kids, etc., etc. So ask them a question, what would happen? Would you be able to go to Disney World with your kids or with your child if you generate, do not mention 5,000, 7,000, 4,000, just three, $450 per month, at least for six, seven, eight months. Would you be able to spend this money to travel with your kid to Disney World and wait for the answer? It's not necessary uh, go to Disney World, but somewhere else. I do remember when we earned Chairman Bonushek, it was a while ago in Hawaii, when they announced, we already know that we got bonus check, but we don't know what kind of check, right? We did not have a chance to see the picture. My wife said to me, you know what? Let's arrange our trip with the kids and grandkids to Disney World, to Florida. And we called back home and we spoke with our daughter and we said, okay, we're going to Florida. Disney World. It was such a pleasure to spend this money for our daughter and two grandkids. We have a wonderful, I must admit, I didn't go, not because of money. I could not go for some other reasons. I have to be home. But Elvira, Yana, Maya, and Kate, they go to Florida for a week. It was such a fun for them. And they do remember, we have a lot of pictures. We have a boom with the pictures. That's a picture what Helen just mentioned. Isaac, please go ahead. Hello again. In all Al's, Al Big Al's presentations and books, he is talking about a power of a story. Power of a story. And uh, my, well, I'm a big proponent of stories. I teach storytelling and so forth. But what I would like to suggest or uh, offer is maybe we can prepare our stories. We've done it before, like two minute story, but it's not about two minute story. It's about a story. Maybe we can prepare our stories and deliver it online like we're doing webinar. Maybe make one or two web webinars so we can deliver our stories and then get a feedback get a feedback for our stories and then we can polish them we can we can clean them up and then we can use them use them for pre-closing for closing for 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 opening whatever stories are very powerful and personal story is the most powerful that's all i wanted to say about the book isaac great 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 idea let's do it next webinar my story it will be my story. It will be Isaac's story, Helen's story, Iris' story, Eugene's story, Nadezhda's story, Nadia Edinger's story, Lila Krakowicz's story. It could be English and Russian language. It doesn't matter. Your personal story, it's not necessary to have a story for 25 minutes. But very short, think about your story, write it down, polish, Polish again and make a story. Next webinar, it will be my story. Whatever story you choose, I don't know, it's your story. I will think about my story. I have a lot of different stories. Pick one. <laughs> I'm sorry? 
pick just one. Yeah, pick just one. Exactly right. But think about this story. Let's call this webinar my forever story or whatever we choose. Think, send me an email or call me what the idea or we could decide even now my personal or my forever story about any product. You start brush your teeth and like my gum stop bleeding in one week or 10 days. That's Alex, my... don't put ideas into our minds. No, you have your idea. I'm sharing my story. Ah, I don't okay. know how you use it. Okay. Whatever you choose, I don't know. It's your story. But let's make that everybody will talk. Polish your story for two, three minutes. Again, it should not be a long story from your date of birth. I joined forever, March 11, 2004. Blah, 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 blah. What is your story? I don't know. How about this idea? Thank you, Isaac. Very, very good idea. Anybody else? We spoke only three people, Helen, Isaac, and Iris. Anybody else? Please speak up, English or Russian. Ludmila, you want to talk? Go ahead. And Nadia Edinger will be next. Yes, thank you for, uh, for the idea. It's a very uh, good idea to share the story next time. And uh, everything with Big Al is easy and difficult. And one uh, uh, difficult because you, you have to do your homework and remember some phrase and uh, test, test this uh, phrase on the people. And the, the other things is easy because uh, he just shares this or you can use it, not necessary to create something new. It's what I say, but you have to do it. Okay, it's thank you. It's easy or difficult, you have to do it. It's not difficult if you want to do something. It's challenging, of course, you have to memorize something. You have to do something very, very simple, but it's challenging, no doubts. Nadia Ettinger, please go ahead. Good evening, everybody. First of all, I wanted to tell you, thank you so much, Iris, uh, Helen, and Isaac, for your wonderful every Monday presentation for us, I would say so, by reading the book and uh, with your heart giving us even more understanding in this book. It's not like we are reading by ourselves. And of course, for Alex for conducting this one, really you united us in this like not such easy time and reading Big Al on the top of it, it's, it's really teaching you a lot of stuff. We just, as Ludmilla said, it's, it's, it's not easy, but on another hand, it's easy because he passed it to us, he shared to us. We, we just need to, to learn and, and uh, implement. And as, as uh, Iris told that he, she put in, in, you know, in note, it's, it's really great probably like to read again and to, to, to take the note and to use it after all, not just to keep I'm talking to myself. And uh, looking forward to now next webinar about our story, Isaac. Really, it's 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 a great idea. We have not done for a while this kind of challenge to remind ourselves about our story. And story is powerful. And this is what we need to help people to to understand what what they need by themselves to understand what they need to do. But we will help them with like using the book and Bill Ashrider really, it's amazing. And I'm sure we will uh, looking forward to another book, but meanwhile, we need, we need to, uh, re, you know, to read it again and to use it. Thank you so much, everybody. Always pleasure to see all of you guys. Thank you, Nadia, very much. Anybody else, before we move forward, I have some wonderful surprise. Isaac, go ahead. May, I have a question, not about the book. Um, I, I'm sorry, I missed my last Monday because, like, uh, I was on, uh, I was out of town. But uh, when 
the, the weekend, the Monday before that, uh, Alex actually threw out an interesting idea. He said that, uh, why don't we do a group clean nine? And I was the first, first to volunteer, I remember. Okay, I still first to volunteer. And I'm, I have a question like, uh, can we re re refocus on this idea? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. That's very good. I appreciate that you rem remind to us and everybody would like to join. I will be with you. No questions. I want to do clean nine. Let's finish this. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's finish this week. It's a holiday week. So probably it will be a good time to start on Monday. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? We will participate we will create a group like that who would like to do clean line by the way it will be part of this story next monday that's it i like to participate but i, I think uh it's better after thanksgiving to do it at least i i have to order it i have nothing well luda it's up to you but i would like to i i don't want to wait up to thanksgiving after thanksgiving you should do it again <laughs> every two months okay no, no i am joking it's up to you but no i don't uh, me personally i don't want to wait up to thanksgiving i want to do it as soon as possible so it's two of us so far isaac and me right isaac next monday looks looks like it okay we will see maybe somebody will join i will send an email to everybody i don't know it's it's a personal stuff there is no pressure Okay, I have a very good surprise. My lovely sponsor Lilishka Krakowicz sent me a video. I must share this video with you. It's a power of picture you're going to love. Iris, please forgive. It will be a Russian language. It will be only two minutes video. It's a super, super powerful. Let me no problem. Let me switch the screen, but you will understand everything, believe me, without the word. Uh, Isaac, please confirm on this on the screen. I see the big house book for now. Okay, Apple. Oh, but it's not just an Apple, it's unusual Apple, right? Sure. Okay, let's watch the video. Hold on, let me arrange the sound. Oops, something happened with the video. Unbelievable. Hmm. <laughs> Some kind of bad luck, but hold on. What do you see on the screen, Isaac? White screen. Just a white screen. Please hold on for a minute. Please, everybody. I'll do my very best. Isaac, I need your help to confirm what you see on the screen. Now you should see the book. Thank you, right? Yes. Okay, just wait, everybody. I heard the audio, yeah, no yeah, video yeah. yet. Oh, no, no, I understand. Hold on, please, hold on. Can you see Nan Apple right now? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Try to read text, not Isaac, Just everybody. Just to read it and look, pay attention to the pictures. It's unbelievable. Офигенные кабачки 
Восемь раз вызывал не отложку, они давали мне корвалов. И когда становилось легче, я вставал и снова полол. Межпозвоночная грыжа и еще четыре в паху. Но на грядках не замечаешь подобную чепуху. Правильно? Все мы лица из теплицы, от Камчатки до столицы. Все мы лица из теплицы, как бы нам не развалиться. Все мы лица из теплицы, Ну да, сезон закончен, между грядками я ползу. Двадцать восемь мешков с картошки в электричке я перевезу. Не беда, что опять заработал хромоту, мигрень, геморрой. У меня теперь целых полгода, и я вылечусь. That's a movie. Lilichka, thank you very much. Your microphone is unmuted. If if you would like to say something, good, please go ahead. Okay. English or Russian? It's up to you. Я рада, что вам очень очень понравилось. Мне тоже. Это же природа. It's a mother nature. Да, да. Beautiful. Okay, everybody. Thank you, Lilichka. Thank you, everybody. So. Next webinar, Monday. If you have any idea, if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. Thanks a lot. Take care, everybody. Be safe and healthy. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye.